and we're back everybody what's going on we're back here with another episode and what is most likely going to be another one of our uh, our photographs on a boring day type of videos because as you can see it is rainy it is gray and we're in a location that's fairly nondescript this could be literally anywhere dot usa and uh, it kind of is it's kind of one of those anywhere but also nowhere type of places we are in Massillon, ohio now if you caught one of my videos uh, like two or three videos back of mansfield ohio uh, this is another rust belt town it's another small city it's another city that was founded a long time ago like 1812 so yeah that puts it over 200 years old and you know with a lot of these cities that are that old a lot of that initial footprint that historic footprint has been built on top of you know a lot of the older things are gone newer things are here um it it, it would take a lot of, of foresight to um memorialize every little thing to make a, a city this old sort of retain its uh its ancient roots so really what we're going to see here today is a lot of what you would see pretty much in any any town like this which is you know fairly new buildings new landscapes places to eat that are all new um, a downtown that's sort of meh but unlike mansfield and believe me i know this because i lived in mansfield a lot of that crowd couldn't wait to leave uh, Still, many of them living in Mansfield are like, I can't wait to get out of Mansfield. Maslin is different because a lot of the people in Maslin, uh, they have a lot of pride, especially the people who were born here. You know, there's a statistic that says something like somewhere between 75 and 80% of uh, everybody in America still lives within 25 miles of where they were born. And uh, Ma or Maslin here, definitely exemplifies that. I get the sense that people who are born here tend to stay here. Um, it supports all types of jobs, all types of careers, you know, and people have a lot of pride in Maslin, Ohio. So let's get on with the camera stuff. Enough of the, of the historical nonsense. We are rolling today with a 5D Mark III, and this is going to be a bit of a challenge. And I expect it to be a challenge because... The 5D Mark III is an older camera, obviously. I'm also rolling with the, uh, the F1.4 50mm. Look how old this lens is. I mean, this whole thing just looks ancient by comparison to the cameras that we have been using. Even the, uh, the G7 uh, Lumix, the Panasonic Lumix from last video seems so modern by comparison. And we're gonna be doing this with the, uh, oh man, I hope you guys like dark. Here we go. So it's gonna be a little bit of a slower process <laughs> because we're using live view, which is, you know, a whole different, these, these cameras were meant to be shot um, through the diopter or whatever that thing is here, this, the pentaprism, and not so much through Live view feature. The live view feature was for like arbitrary things to come, but still fairly early technology, right? It's also a little bit rainy today. You guys know my love of. Uh, 40 degree weather and rain 
literally the absolute worst combination of weather you could ever ask for. And uh, I'll give you one quick guess of what we got today. You guessed it. You got it. You figured it out. You're too smart. You're just too smart. <laughs> when I left, I was like, oh, it's not even raining. It's just gray. And now it's raining. Oh, goodness. All right, well, we're, we're doing what we love to do. Looking for shapes, looking for anything. Look at this. I mean, it's like, who decides to build a gigantic cement facade on their brick building? These people do. So let's see what we can get here. The 50 millimeter was like my lens of choice for ever. Like my favorite lens for just way beyond. I can, uh, I can remember was the 50 millimeter. And this is, this, uh, the lens we've got here today, this 50 millimeter, 1.4, represents my, I think my oldest lens that I've got. And this lens has been everywhere with me. It's done everything with me. It's done commercial shoots. It's done um, weddings, family, just pretty much anything that you could do with a, with a lens. This is done. Landscape, the whole thing, man. The whole dang thing, it's done it. I don't use it all that much anymore because I've got obviously a whole different system, but uh, even more importantly, this lens recently started to not function. And when lenses start to uh, start to not work, that is often It's often a bad sign. And uh, I've taken this one apart and I've refixed it. But I do have, just in case, just in case, I have a backup in the camera bag. Yeah. All heck breaks loose and this guy stops working. So let's go ahead and, uh, and get to it.
That is the Maslin Museum, which has actually been on um, a couple uh, nationally syndicated television shows. There was a, I think it was a History Channel, they had a show that featured local museums, and that was, uh, that was on there. So if you go do a Google search, or I think History Channel show, Maslin Museum, it'll come up. It has something to do with like some sort of uh, union button. That's kind of all I remember, but it was a good episode. Uh, just because I don't remember what it was about. Doesn't mean anything bad. It just means I have a really bad memory. Look at all of the wires. I am again shooting with the histogram. Even more important today, you guys know I love the histogram, but um, I mean, is this kind of like a weird setup? Just like, <laughs> it just, I'm confused. I wonder if they did this on purpose? Oh, well, they, they must have. Now, how's that? The Maslin Government and Justice Center. Nothing sounds more welcoming than that. Hi, I'm here for Government and Justice. It's been a long time since I've used the 5D Mark III. I've had the, uh, as soon as I got the R5, that was pretty much was the death knell for the, uh, for the 5D Mark III. Up until that point, I used it pretty much like one-to-one. -one. Like if I had anything going on, I would have the EOS R with me. Oops, hold on, Let's get you guys dried off. There we go. I have the ESR and this guy, but this guy's just relegated to uh, extreme backup duty at this point. <laughs> duty. Here in sort of these last throws of uh, early spring flowering trees. Come on, we can do this, we can focus this. That's not it. Don't give me a green square, that's definitely not it. Pretty. It's hard to tell if it's in focus on this camera, but oh, here we go. These trees still got color on them. Literally just like 20 feet away. Let's see what we can get here. Oh, come on now. Come on, Wendy. Literally, every time I focus, the wind blows it. Come on, bro. Hey, bro. Oh, wind's getting picking up too. We'll give it a second. We're not gonna give up on this tree yet. We might be giving up on this tree. can't tell did we get anything all right we got something I have to say this lens produces it always has but it produces some of the most beautiful like blurriness you'll ever see in a lens um, for reasons I do not know I am NOT a optical engineer 
it just does a really good job. What about our little house here? Oh, we did, we got the bus. All right. Might be able to work some magic with the cropping. I don't know. It's on that alley, anything good? Just an alley. <laughs> Just an alley. Video game swap shop. Yo, now we talking. You've combined my two favorite things. Old crusty houses and video games, baby. anything and everything. I know this lady. This is my girlfriend. And we're back again. Just had a little visit from the girlfriend who just happened to be driving down the road. <laughs> That's so funny. The people you meet out on the street. Now my girlfriend, she is from Maslin, Ohio. So I tried to convince her to come and do this with us, but she uh, rightfully declined letting me know that it's very cold. And you want to know something? She very right. can. Oh, it's so dark. Save us Instagram. Make us whole. Okay, so you may or may not have noticed the massive football theme here. One of the things that Maslin is famous for is uh, it's football, specifically a feller named Paul Brown, uh, who was 
very tied in with the um, the NFL. And if you take a moment to, to uh, put two and two together, Paul Brown obviously had some sort of deal with the Cleveland Browns and he was the founder of the Cleveland Browns. I think he's, I think he's from Maslin. I do believe that's, that's the connection here is that he's a Maseltonian or whatever they call themselves. And um, when Paul Brown was done in Cleveland, he said, I ain't finished, suckers. And he went off and he founded the uh, Cincinnati Bengals, so. Paul Brown, very busy man. And, and football is a really big part of, uh, of Maslin. Like the people here, they root for the high school team like most people root for their college teams. It's pretty impressive. It's not my thing, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be, right? Well, this looks like it's seen better days. Just the textures alone in places like this are amazing. Coming soon, Mom's Legacy. I don't know what Mom's up to, but good to know she ain't forgotten. I wish I had a slightly wider lens. We might wait for the traffic to stop here because I just love this little vignette here. So we'll just give this a second. Oh, waiting for traffic not to run me over here. Three, two, one, and done. And we got it. Dude, come on, man. Look at this place. The stereo shop or the shop hay, whatever it is. Whatever it is, however you spell it, however it's pronounced, we're getting this photo and no one can stop us. Got it. Look at this one flower just like powering through this weather. beautifully landscaped and barbed wired in. This is the Tremont Coffee Shop.
sort of a nondescript building facade. Tis it not? Tis it? like this <laughs> I'm not a I look again it's not my thing doesn't mean it's not okay I'm not a big country music guy when I lived in Mansfield as a kid one of my friends really big into country music also really big into going to the VFW and they would always bait and switch me be like hey man you want to hang out watch Wrestlemania yes and then in the end we didn't watch Wrestlemania we would go to the VFW instead bait and switch and I would sit there for like four hours as people with achy breaky haircuts would boot scoot boogie all over the place meanwhile I'm like a death metal nine inch nails kid very strange Terry? I just want to get a picture of the sanitary. See where that dumpster's in the way. Dumpster kind of makes the photo, doesn't it? Now I've been told that this church is black because of the amount of factories that used to just belch, you know, black pollutants into the air. I don't, I, I wasn't around. I have no idea if that's true. Seems plausible. This is pretty, pretty darn dark. That is foreboding, is it not? Is it not? Foreboding to say the least. It feels massive just walking up to it. It just fills your whole, your whole frame of reference, man. on a 50 millimeter like this he does the big one. I mean, there is still something so magical about the 50 millimeter. And just how it renders its photos. All of the, uh, what is this place? This is a 
musical note on it must be some sort of a cool place. going to do it justice. There you go. You can see what the clouds look like in detail there. I see like the little hint of blue sky over there. Something wants to happen. Ain't gonna lie, I really kind of like these uh, these old like flat style buildings, lots of open light. I mean, that's like, that's like the perfect uh, photography studio. Oh my God, I love that. Dude, just love that little hint of bright horizon there. I mean, it is so bright. right right now it went from completely pitch black basically like tornado worn thick storm clouds to my corneas hurt that's fun what is this what is this guy do it says push Does it do anything i mean if it's not supposed to push it don't have a button that says to push Am I crazy? All right, we're doing it. Let's go. See another little vignette here we'll steal. You know me. Absolutely adore the fact. I mean, like you want to go slow. You know how people say, slow down, be more deliberate. You know, this little combo here, and by combo, I mean DSLR, older lens. The older lens focuses slower, but I'm also using live view, which focuses very slow. That combination is a, uh, an absolute dream team for slowing things down. Oh yes, that's another thing that uh, Maslin is known for. The Erie Canal. That was a big part of mass one. I'm not a, a historian, so I don't know what the, I know the significance, but I don't know the tale, if that makes sense. Maslin, a city without traffic. All right. Oh, 
let's go. Oh, yeah, let's just go. Let's go to the truss, shall we? And then that'll be our... Uh, that'll be our ending uh, note, I think. According to that graffiti, Jetsis saves. I don't know who Jet Acid Face is here. Post your predictions in the comments below. Will I be mugged and axe murdered before I get to the car? Stay, stay tuned to the end of the video to find out. All right, here's where we go over. Peak physical condition. Lots of oh, fishermen. That's what's happening here. Fisher dudes. as much of a photo there so I'm hoping that it's more of a photo what is this cabbage People literally have a sixth sense of our cameras. Like they can just tell when a camera is pointed at them. So let's see what happens here. Not this time. Okay, so we are gonna get on the track. Don't get on tracks. You're not allowed to get on tracks. You get in trouble if you get on a track. Do not recommend ever getting on a track. You can get in trouble, you can get hurt. Don't do it, okay? Cool. Now with that said, I just wanna get a quick photo here. Make sure there are no trains coming in any direction, which there are not.
there is a train coming. Holy crap. Guys, there is a train coming and we are gonna get pictures of it. You know how cool this is? Is there a train coming? There's a train. There is a train, laddie. Come on, man. Who had train coming down here as part of their bingo? I mean, I ain't gonna pretend like that was the coolest photo I've ever taken, but that was cool regardless. That's a cool end, man. All right. Well, I'm not exactly sure we can top that right now. Ever since I've lived here, I've wanted to see a train go by. And today, train, super cool. Well, awesome guys. I hope you had an absolutely amazing time hanging out with me today. Here we were again in another small town. And you know, kind of a nondescript boring day. All right, so there we go. That was our uh, that was our exciting time in Massillon, Ohio. So, guys, please, if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe to the video. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment if you are so inclined. Um, all that kind of interaction makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. Couldn't do this without you. Really appreciate it. And we will be having warm weather again, hopefully, and within the next week. We'll be back in the city doing big city things, all right? All right, but until that point, I will check all of you later. Let's try that again. Until that point, I will check all of you later. Yes, way better. All right, I'll check you guys later. Peace.